We begin tonight with developing news as we continue to track the Blodgett Peak fire. Winds are now picking up, leaving firefighters and neighbors on high alert. Caradio News Channel 13 Spencer Soiter is live near Blodgett Peak open space tonight. That's just west of I-25 and Woodman Road. Spencer, what are firefighters saying about this growing fire? Yeah, Mallory, the last estimate came in at seven tenths of an acre. It seems small, right? But with these high winds and really hard to access location, the fire right now is still at 0% contained. You're thinking like, why uh, are yards bigger than that? Why can't they just put it out? The Blodgett Peak fire is not even an acre in size, but two days later, nobody can put it out. Frustrated that we couldn't get more resources. Ralph Bella works for the U.S. Forest Service. This fire is in his jurisdiction. With the fire coming in late December, they've only got one helicopter today and otherwise are struggling to keep up. But there's, there's no type 1 helicopters, no type 2 helicopters, and this is the only helicopter we could find right now. Dispatch tried to find some other uh, aircraft helicopters for us today and none available. The one copter was forced to stop early because of the howling winds and with the fire in such deep and rugged terrain, it's taking firefighters nearly two hours just to get to it. <clears throat> and with the whipping winds and pre-evacuation orders issued, people living in the area are staying on alert. I had my uh, to-go boxes uh, ready to go last night and everything lined up in the hallway ready to get in the car and go. Brian Benson evacuated during the Waldo Canyon fire. This is his family's first scare since then. While frustrated this fire is not out, he gets there's only so much crews can really do. We understand it's on a very tough terrain. We hike up there all the time and know how tough it is. So it is what it is. I can't, uh, I'm sure they're doing their best. For now, everyone is in wait and see mode, but hoping the winds don't play Grinch to everyone's Christmas. The winds are definitely a concern. Uh, anytime there's a little spark anywhere in the forest or whatever, it's always a concern. Fire officials still don't know what caused this fire. The last recorded lightning strike, they say, was about a month ago. They'll, those crews will be back here tomorrow morning at sunrise. Reporting live in Colorado Springs tonight, I'm Spencer Soisher for KRDO News Channel 13. Spencer, thank you.